The untouchable True School Sports Empire proudly presents something the boxing game's been missing. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. Now, make sure you guys take the time to subscribe and definitely smash that like button. But man, I was I was on the go proceed with my day, but I but I checked boxing scene right quick and I saw some news and I wanted to kind of touch on it a little bit. So a lot of us here on True School Sports, we were very excited for that November 13th date. That the November 13th fight between David Benavidez and Jose Uzcatigi. And um, it looks like it's not going to happen again. Yes, you, you heard that right. It got canceled again because it was just reported that Jose Uzcatigi tested positive for a banned substance. So the fight's not happening. I, I, it wasn't meant to be. You know, I think Benavidez should move on with his career because it just seems like the fight ain't meant to be. You know, he got the Chinese virus. You know, he tested positive for that. They pushed it back to this date. Um, now, with this fight, um, Uzkatigi tested positive for a banned substance. So why put your career on hold any longer um, for this fight that really not a ton of people are clamoring for? And move on. I really, I really feel like, you know what? 2022 in boxing has to be the year of no excuses and no dishonor. If anything, as boxing people, you know, channels, media, fighters, matchmakers, promoters, we got to do our best to honor this sport moving forward in 2022 because 2021 has been such a, sh a shithole, a, 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 a shit fest, you know, this year with all, all the fights getting canceled. So with that being said, you know, let's, let's come out the box swinging. I want to see I want to see Dave Benavidez versus Jamal Charlo. Yeah, I want to see Dave Benavidez versus Jamal Charlo. You know, that'd be a good fight. They're both with the same promotional company, so you can't you can't play that that that, that network promotional politics that you like to play with Demetrius Andre. It's an easy fight to make. You know, they they they're both exciting fighters to watch. Make that fight happen. I think it'd be good for the careers of um Benavidez, who's looking for them big fights. He said he wants the big fights. Jamal Charlo says he wants the big fights. Let's let's pull the card of Jamal Charlo. Let's pull. Let, let's see if he really wants those big fights because he was talking a good game about wanting to fight Benavidez, but uh, at one point, and then he said he, he got to do this. You got to get a COVID test. You got to get the vaccine. This, that, the third. So I don't think Charlo wants any smoke with Benavidez, in my humble opinion. But I want to I want to see that fight happen because there's no re there's no way you can literally make this fight happen again for a third time. You know, it's just too much. And then. I'm gonna pivot a little bit as well in this video. You mean to tell me Jose Uzcatigi tested a positive for a banned substance and Caleb Plant dropped his ass twice? Oh man. So you mean to tell me Caleb Plant's being dudes with PEDs in the system? So you know what? He might, he might, he might fuck around and beat Canelo. I think he might actually fuck around and beat Canelo. You know, because he if he beat one guy who was on PEDs, why why can't he be the second one? Why can't he be the second one? I'm I'm drawing a little bit of I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I'm drawing, I'm drawing a little bit of confidence from hearing that. Jose Uzcatigi tested positive for PEDs because that means that means Caleb Plant got some power. That means Caleb Plant got more power than you think. If he could if he could sit a dude down who was on PEDs twice in the same fight, who was bigger than him or at the you know the same height or bigger than him, what makes you think he can't do it to Canelo Alvarez? You know. So you mean to tell me that Jose Miguel Cotto can make Canelo do the chicken dance, but Caleb Plant can't? You mean to tell me that that that, that Canelo Alvarez can get hurt? And damn near stopped in his pro debut. But you telling me Caleb Plant can't hurt Canelo? Come on, man. I can't wait. Remember the six. Gonna be a great fight. Uh Angelo Leo will be on the um live fight reaction, the former WBO Super Band and Weight Champion. So definitely join. It's gonna be fun. Ask him questions. You know, there's a lot of good things going on with his career. I want y'all to talk. Come talk to him. Come talk to me. It'll be a lot of fun. But yeah, man, that's the news. Jose Uskatigi tested positive for a banned substance. And you know, what 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 did Michael Jackson say? Dun dun dun. Another one bites the dust. It's another, it's another, another fight for PBC that gets like just completely scrapped, completely canceled. Um, and it really is becoming a big, you know, shit show. What's going on? It, it truthfully is, man. And um, it's unfortunate because, you know, I like Benavidez. I think he's a good fighter. I think some of you guys are starting to overrate him a little bit, but I still think he's a good fighter. I like, I like watching him fight. Uh, I think I think he's still developing. We haven't seen he, we haven't we haven't seen his best yet. So it's a, it's not good for him to um, to not have this fight because we know we we know with him right. And just, and, and just being honest, I'm not trying to talk down on him. We we we, we can only use what we've seen in the past and past experiences because I, I don't know him personally, so I can't speak to who he is. So I'm not trying to defame his character. But what, what I'm trying to say is this. We know that Benavides hasn't lived the most disciplined lifestyle out the outside the ring. Um, 
And that's why he doesn't have the title. And that's actually one of the reasons why Caleb Plant's in the position to fight Canelo. And he isn't. You know, Caleb Plant, the, the difference between Caleb Plant and Benavidez is discipline. It's discipline. There's, there's nothing else. There's nothing. There's nothing more else to it than discipline. Because Caleb Plant was disciplined enough to not put coke in the system to and to be on weight, straight up to be on weight. Hate to say it like that, but it's the truth. It's a cold hard truth. Um, Benavidez wasn't, and that's why he don't have the title. That's why Canelo went on a rampage, fighting the, these 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 weak champions. Um, now he's gonna get a test of Plant, but I'm saying like you know Smith, Son, these these guys had no chance. Benavidez would have at least had a, had a chance. And um, he blew it, and that's why he's in this position now. So it's it's unfortunate, but it is what it is, man. But yeah, that, that, there's a lot of things I said in that video. If you guys let me know what you think about them in the comments down below. Um, yeah, man, just continue to tune into the to, to the channel. Um, I'll have a couple lives on Saturday for the Jerron Ennis card, but before the card and after after the card. So definitely be on, definitely be on the lookout for that, and just keep supporting. We're growing. I got some great things on the horizon. I got a I got a big a big announcement coming up soon. So when I make the announcement, um, I'm looking forward to what you guys got to say. But uh, yeah, you guys take the, take care. Take the time to subscribe. And like I say in every single one of these videos, you can love me or you can hate me. But I'm just a kid from Daniel. So until next time, take care, guys.